So, hello guys. Today we are back with another big, big surprise for you to watch. I hope you will enjoy it. As you can see, my dad is there dressed well in his chef costume. Yes, dad. Yeah, hi guys. This is Seve Test 254. I'm so much privileged to be here. And uh, today we are doing a burger. Uh, today I have decided to cook uh, beef burger for my kids. So uh, I'll call it beef burger because uh, uh, it's minus the cheese. So uh, yeah, I'm, 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 show them, show them. Patty burgers. As you can see guys, so this is the patty burgers. I'm trying to grill them over the pan. And as I'm grilling, I'm using uh, just a lower quantity of uh, cooking oil. Uh, remember, this is uh, egg slicer, good for doing this. And then this is a non-stick pan, cooking pan. From here, though my kitchen is a, uh, it's very small, but it's still it can still pro produce good meals. Uh, over here, this is what I normally use as uh, my working, my working surface. Then I have uh, buns over on that table there. Show them. So guys, today as you can see, we are going to enjoy the meal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hamburgers, hamburgers bread, hamburgers scones. Don't know what they call them, but just know they are good for making hamburgers. So guys, as you can see, our house manager is over here. She can say hi to you guys. Hi guys. Yes, my sister is over there. Can you say hi? Hello guys. You're full? Huh? You're full today? No. You are not full. Let me bring another food. No, I'm bringing porridge. Hello. <laughs> so guys, as you can see, we're still at work. Preparing. I come with this one. No. Pull. So guys, we are here as uh, from the start of the vi video, uh, I told you that today we are doing a burger or the hamburgers for the family and uh, of course you can see this is what you call the missile flask, I've been doing it, these ones are the buns and of course uh, uh, I'm supposed to use the a thousand island sauce but since I don't have a, a Mayonnaise, I've decided to use a uh, tomato sauce. Remember, this, this is for my kids, uh, and my kids don't take a uh, cheese, so we shall be doing beef burger. So I decided to do tomatoes, but when you mix uh, the, the mayonnaise and this one with the chopped onions, that is what you call and a bit of uh, black pepper and vinegar. That is a thousand island sauce. That is what we use for the basement of this particular kind of a, uh, uh, burger. So this one is a bun. So this is what we are doing. And then uh, I have what we call uh, the, the caramel, caramelized onion. Caramelized onion, they're here. So you can still put them there as the basement for the burger. The basement for the burger and then uh, we can add a, bi a bit of a lettuce just a simple le lettuce like that then uh, a piece of tomato that is a sliced tomato so now if you can put two or one depending on uh, the cost and then have a uh, sliced uh, cucumber See, this is the basement of this particular kind of a burger. And if I had, uh, like, a, let's say, a feta cheese, I still put it on the basement and then apply the mozzarella. But for today, because I don't have that, so this is what I'll be using. So this is the basement of the burger. Remember, I have uh, the, the meat here, which we call a uh, petty, if you like it, petty. 
or patty. Others pronounce as a patty. So already I've grilled, so it's ready. So when you do this, and then you do it that way, to balance it, you can use a toothpick or a skewers. This one is ready to go. So maybe I can get a plate so that if it is in a hotel, let's say like it's a hotel and we are to plate this particular burger. So already it's there. That way. Then uh, you can use a toothpicks to balance it so that when it is being carried by the waiter, it doesn't fall apart that way. Then uh, if you have chips, you place them there. Then you, 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 you do a bit of garnish. You can use a salad. So this is a simple salad. Maybe my son can show you. The burger is ready to go and to be eaten. Huh? Looks tasty. Yeah, it's ready to go and to be eaten. So guys, remember, this is Chef Boneface. And uh, when you come to my channel, it is uh, the latest 254. But uh, if you've got um, anything to go by, the consultants, uh, my consultation, if you feel like uh, being assisted in many ways, if you're opening up a place, if you're setting up a restaurant or a cafe or a hotel, or you have got uh, an outside catering and you're looking for somebody who can give you more skills, uh, I'm here to do it. I'm the best come to that. If you are doing food costs, many preparations, I'm here. I'm good at that. I can still do you a menu, uh, still cost it. And of course, give you more about the kitchen, do interviews for you, and of course, uh, plan a, a kitchen, even if it is a, a five-star, I'm ready for that. Keep in touch, I do the fusion of African and continental cuisine. Fusion of African and continental cuisine. So that means I can still do African and as, all, as well as international meals. I'm ready to go. So this is a simple burger, hamburger at home. You can give to your kids, to your family, this one. And they enjoy it. They feel like this is our dad, is a chef. And we can do the best for this particular kind of thing. <coughs> Remember, I've opened so many places here in Nairobi and in Mombasa. And I've picked very well. They behave. Sometimes even people give me a call for a lunch or luncheon and even praise me and appreciate at the end of the day for good work I've done. I also have my place, not to forget, I opened my own place. I'm still working on it. Most of the time I'm there trying to make things pick up. I'm so privileged when I'll see you people trying to market this particular channel, telling people to subscribe, it will be the best ever. I'll appreciate. I'll be able to say thank you. As a chef, I promise so much about kitchen, about cooking, which is my passion. It's my passion. I really love it. You know, it's an art. When you're in the kitchen, you just think that any ingredients you've been given, you can still make food out of that particular kind of ingredients. You are not supposed to complain or to say, you know, you know, it's you to, to do your best. Remember, I've been to many places. I've worked places. I've worked in many kind of restaurants, uh, hotels, clubs cafes, coffee shops, fast food. So, I have a lot of skills concerning the hotel industry and how it is to be uh, equipped, especially the kitchen uh, department. I've been a head chef for so long. I've led the kitchen in many aspects. I've led a team of uh, even 20 people in the kitchen and I've always delivered. 
So, guys, have trust and have firm trust in me that I can do the best ever. If you're willing and you're feeling like even maybe uh, reaching me, my contacts are there, my email address is there. Reach me through my channel, Waiters254. I'm so happy. Uh, so I say I don't finishing because I'm still preparing the fries for the kids. Maybe it will be like a snack tonight. This is a snack, it's a light meal. So thank you, God bless you. Continue subscribing, continue sharing, and back to my son here. So guys, subscribe, like, and share as we enjoy this tasty burger. Just take a great look at it. I know some people are there. Yes. Just wanting to eat their lips because of this bug. So do anything that you do to help this channel grow as you will meet us on our next video.